Hey, what's going on everybody? East Tactics here. So I just actually wrapped up a video because I ran into a situation where my throttle stopped working. To, it's, there's a known issue where just randomly your ESC just stops working out of the blue for the throttle. Um, I, don't, I, I don't really know the cause of it, but it's good to know that if you do run into a situation where you're about ready to go for a bash and you turn your vehicle on and your steering's working but your throttle's not working, that there's a fix to that. Let me show you. I turn it on. I have a flashing green light. I've been doing a little bit of research and potentially the fix is as follows. So we've got the flashing green light. We're going to turn it off. We're going to hit this, hold the set button and turn it on. While I'm holding the set button, I'm going to disconnect the yellow. Notice it starts flashing red. Now I'm going to reconnect the yellow. So it's detecting that it is in a mode. All right, well, looks like I got her back up and running. Go ahead and turn her off. Turn the controller off. And hopefully everything's back to normal. Yep. All right, so that is how you fix this weird error, and I have no idea what causes it, but if your throttle stops working and all you're, all you're getting is steering, basically do what you just saw me do there, and hopefully that should fix the problem for you. Anyway guys, thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate you watching my content. Check out my library, I've got a full line of really good stuff for the Arma Creighton, which pretty much translates into any of the Arma vehicles. Um, if you know a lot about one of them, you know a lot about all of them. I still to this day am completely happy with my purchase of the Arma Creighton 6S. Um, you know, with all the research that I did when I was looking into buying a vehicle from, you know, looking at the Traxxas lineup, uh, the, the E-Revos, or even the X-Max, I still decided that I wanted to go with the Arma Creighton because pound for pound, this thing just is a beast. I mean, the X-Max is a beast too, but I mean, with the amount of brute force that you can throw at this thing once you've got it upgraded, M2C chassis, aluminum rear, aluminum um, rear ends, you know, aluminum diff houses, um, your suspension mounts upgraded to aluminum. I mean, once you've done that, this thing is just unstoppable. And for its size, it's, in my opinion, the best RC car in the world. So, but you know, I'm also biased to this. So anyway, thanks for watching my videos, guys. Ace Tactics, out.